Hello everybody, I want to introduce you to a card game called Set that's one of my favorites. Um, my wife introduced it to me uh, a number of years ago and it's great for adults, for kids. Uh, I believe it's recommended for ages 6 to 99. So even you could even teach your kindergartner uh, how to play Set. Uh, the background behind deck is it consists of 81 unique cards that vary in four attributes across three possibilities for each kind of attribute. And I'll discuss each of those in detail. And so the four main attributes are there's number of shapes, there's actual shape, there's shading, and there's coloring. So attribute number one is color. There are three different types of colors. There are purple cards, there are green cards, and there are red cards. The second attribute is shape. You'll notice some cards have ovals, some cards have diamonds, and some cards have what I call squiggles or little squigglies or tildes or whatever you want to call them. The third attribute is quantity or number. Some cards have one object, some cards have two objects, and other cards have three objects. And the fourth attribute is shading. Now, the first type of shading here, I just have none, or you could call it it's hollow. So no shading. Uh, there's striped shading, and it's kind of hard to tell in this picture what's striped, but if you saw the card, you could see that there are little lines going along in here. And the third one is solid shading or full shading. Now, what exactly is a set? And this is the toughest thing to really uh, be able to identify when you play the game. So I'm going to give you the definition here, and then I'm going to show you examples of what a set looks like. So a set is a collection of three cards in which each of the four attributes those were the four that I already previously talked about, that being um, color, shape, quantity, and shading, that those three cards either are all the same or they are all different with each of those four attributes. So let's take a look at an example of a set here. So here are three cards. And I notice I'll have listed out here the four attributes, and I will tell you if the if each attribute has the same or different among all three cards. So the first attribute, color. Notice that all three of these cards are all different colors. We have one of each color represented here. In terms of shapes, they're all the same. We've got diamonds, diamonds, and diamonds. Third quantity, or third attribute, quantities, and they are different. This first card has one diamond, the second card has two diamonds, the third card has three diamonds. And the shadings are all the same. Notice there is no or hollow shading in all three cards. So this is what we would call a set. Here's another example of a set. Uh, in terms of colors, they're all the same, they're all green. In terms of shapes, all three cards are different. We have squiggles, we have diamonds, and we have ovals. In terms of quantities, they're all the same. We have two squiggles, two diamonds, two ovals. And in terms of shadings, they're all different. We have uh, striped shading, no shading, and solid shading. Here's a third example of what a set may look like. In terms of colors, they're all different. We have green, we have purple, we have red. In terms of shapes, they're all different. We have ovals, we have squiggles, we have diamonds. In terms of quantities, they're all the same. There's three ovals, there's three squiggles, there's three diamonds. And in terms of shadings, they're all the same. No shading, no shading, no shading. Here's a fourth example of a set. Uh, colors, all the same. They're all green. Shapes, though, they're all different. We have squiggles, ovals, and diamonds. Quantities, they're all the same. We have two, two, and two. And in terms of shading, they're all the same. They're all solid fills. So here's really the first example of where three attributes were all the same and only one attribute was different. Here's another one, but 
kind of in the reverse order, where three of them are different and one of them is the same. So in terms of colors, all three of these are different. We have red, we have purple, we have green. In terms of shapes, they're all different. Ooh, but are they all different? We have diamond, squiggle, diamond. Ooh, this is not a set. Ooh, I tried getting you on this one. Now, what shape would this last one need to be if we were to pick on this last one? Well, if we had diamond squiggle, what was the other shape? It was oval. So this would have to be a green oval that's striped. Now, in terms of quantities, they are all the same. We have one, one, and one. And in terms of shadings, they're all different, right? We have no shadings, we have solid shadings, and we have striped shadings. So this one was almost a set. I was trying to get you on this one to see if you guys would catch that the shapes aren't all the same or all different. Two of them are the same shape, uh, but one of them's different. Now, back to actual examples. Here's a sixth example. Again, colors, all different. Notice purple, green, red, shapes, all different. Squiggle, diamond, ovals, quantities, all different. One, two, and three. And shadings, all different. Solid, hollow, and striped. Now, these are what I consider to be the most unique sets here, is whenever all four attributes are different. Now, here's clearly a set that I say is not a set. And the reason why it's not a set is because I have two colors represented, but the third color is different. So these two are green, and this one would have to be green for it to complete the set. And it's not, it's red. So I have some questions, and you can uh, pause the video uh, and give this one a whirl here, and then I'll reveal the answer. So I'm starting you off with these two cards over here on the right side. And my question is, which of these four cards over here on the left would complete the three card set with these two cards over here on the right side? And so if you want to pause the video, you can pause, you can take a look at the four over here, and then try to identify which one would complete the set. So if you want to pause, pause now. Otherwise, I'm going to reveal that it would be the bottom right card. And the reason why it'd be the bottom right card is in terms of color, I mean, clearly we can see these are all red. In terms of shape, they're all different. We have squiggle, oval, diamond. In terms of quantities, they're all twos, two, two, and two. And in terms of shading, they're all the same. They're all uh, no shading or hollow shading. Here's another one you can try. So again, if you want to pause the video, pause the video, see if you can identify which one would go with these two cards from this set of four over here. Oh, accidentally pressed the button. It would be the top left one, right? In this case, we'd have all the same color, all red, uh, all the same shape, they're all diamonds, but the quantities are all different. We'd have one, two, and three, and the fill is all the same, all the shading, because they're all solid shadings. Now, here's a different type of question. Instead of giving you options, if I gave you these two cards, then what would be the third card that would make this a set? And so again, if you just kind of want to pause the video and think about what would the third card have to look like, and you can think about these four things here. You can tell me what color the card would have to be, what shape the card would have to be, how many of that shape would you have to have, and what type of shading would that card have to have? So again, if you want to pause, you could pause here and test it out. See which one it would be. Three, two, one. So it would have to be a red card because right now my two cards are green and purple. They're already different. So the third card has to be different than these two. In terms of shape, it would have to be an oval. These two cards are both ovals. So the third card would have to be the same shape. In terms of quantity, there would have to be one red oval because these two cards both have one quantities each. And the shading would have to be striped. And it'd have to be striped because the shadings of these two cards are already different. We have 
uh, solid fill and no fill. And so the third card would have to be the type of fill that I have not seen yet, and that would be the striped version. So one red striped oval would be the third card would be the third card to complete the set. All right, let's try some more. Multiple choice, if you will. So if we had these two cards on the right, and you had these four options on the left. Again, if you want, pause the video. I'll count to three, and then I will reveal it. Three, two, one. It would be the top right card. So number one, uh, the coloring are all the same. They're all purple. Number two, the shapes are all different. We have diamonds, we have ovals, we have squiggles. Three, the quantities are all different. We have three, one, and two, if I go from left to right here. Uh, and the shadings are all different. I have solid, hollow, and striped. Here's another multiple choice. So again, pause the video. I'll count to three and then reveal the answer. Three, two, one. And it would be the bottom right. Again, uh, colors all the same. Shapes all different. Quantities all the same. And shadings all different different. So again, here's another example of where I'm giving you two cards and I want to see if you can identify the color, the shape, the quantity, and the shading of the third card that would complete the set. So the color would have to be red. The shape would have to be an oval. The quantity would have to be three, and the shading would have to be striped. So very similar to the first question that I had related to this one. Question seven. Again, multiple choice type question here. Now these last three, I tried to make a little bit more difficult, of more difficult sets to try to identify. So again, if you wanna pause, I'll count to three. Three, two, one, and a third card to complete the set would be the bottom left corner. Uh, in terms of color, they're all different. In terms of shape, they're all different. In terms of quantity, they're all different. And in terms of shading, they're all different. So these three cards uh, are the complete different version set where all four attributes are different. Question eight. Again, I'll count down from three, if you want to pause the video. Three, two, one, and it would be the top left corner. Uh, in terms of color, they're all different. In terms of shape, they're all different. In terms of quantity, they're all different. And in terms of shading, they're all different. So here's another example where all four attributes are different amongst the three cards. And then here's the last single question that I will give to you. So again, here are two cards. Can you identify the color, shape, quantity, and shading of the third card that would complete this set? So again, I'll give you a moment to pause the video if you like, and I'll count down from three, two, one. The color would have to be green because these two cards are already different colored. So the, so the third card would also have to be a different color. The shape would have to be a squiggle because these two shapes are already different. We have diamonds and we have ovals. So the third card must be the other kind of shape, squiggles. In terms of quantity, there must be three because these two cards already have different quantities. We have one and two represented. So the third card must have three things. And the shading must be hollow or no shading because again, these two cards have different kinds of shading, solid and striped, so the third card must have the third different type of shading. All right, so here's a much bigger example here. And so here are 12 cards, and this is the way the game is normally played. There's 12 cards set out, and I'll go through the formal rules, uh, but here's a, a, well, I don't wanna say a set, but here's a layout, if you will, of 12 cards, uh, and there are six sets in this example. 
And so if you want to pause the video, you can go through and try to find all the different combinations here. I'll be honest with you, I found five of the six, and I really struggled to find the sixth one in the end. Uh, and so sometimes these are really super easy for me to do, and sometimes I get stumped on one every once in a while. So if you want to pause, see if you can find all six possibilities. You can. But again, I'll count down from three, and I will show you all six different sets that are in this. Now, before I count down from three, I just want to point out, notice the quantities are all the same with these 12 cards. There's all two in each of these things. So that's one thing you don't have to worry about. You just need to focus on color, shape, and fill, or shading. So again, three, two, one. Here's where I think is the obvious set. Here's a second set. Again, all three of those are different, except for the quantity. Here's a third set. Again, all three of these things are different, except for quantity. Here's a fourth set. Uh, just the color and the quantity are the same here. Shape and um, shading are different. Here's the fifth. Again, all different except for the quantity. And then here's the last one that I was really struggling to find and finally found it. And it's really, coincidentally, just like the last one. Again, all the attributes are different except for quantity. Now, you might go, where can I get an example like this? And I'll tell you where you can get that in an app. But first, I just want to go through really the proper rules of set, because this isn't how you would normally play. It's not really a one-person game. It's a multiplayer game, and it's not really a normal type of card game. So if you want to buy the, the actual card game set, uh, you can find it on Amazon for... Uh, maybe like $10, $12 maybe, or you can maybe find it at Walmart. Um, but there's lots of places that you could buy set. And so I'll just go through the basic idea of how to play set if you want to get an actual deck of cards. And so you lay out 12 cards for everybody to see. And when a player sees a set, they have to call out set. And then everybody stops. And so that person that called a set has to identify the three cards that they believe is a set. And everyone must agree that those three cards make a set. And if it's true that, that those three cards are a set, then that player collects the three cards and they put them off to the side. But if the player who called a set incorrectly identified a set, then they lose a point and they go ahead and continue on the game. The three cards are removed and replaced with three new cards from the deck. If a set cannot be found, then three additional cards are introduced, so there are 15 total cards out there. But once a set has been found amongst those 15 cards, then play resumes with just those 12 cards. The game is over when no sets can be found and no more cards are left in the deck. Each card collected by a player is one point. You also have to keep in mind when there were negative points for players that called out a set and incorrectly identified one. And so in the end, the player with the most points at the end of the game wins. Now, speaking from a iPhone uh, app store type of perspective here, uh, I, I'm sure this is also available for Android phones, um, but there is a free version called the Daily Set Puzzle. Make sure that you found the free version uh, and it will give you one free Daily Set Puzzle per day. There's also a $1.99 version, which allows you to collect sets like you were really playing the game. But again, it's only you against yourself in the end. You don't get to play with other people, unfortunately. So if you like it enough from the, the one daily puzzle, um, you could consider buying the whole full thing. And thank you for learning the game of set with me. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of patience and a lot of perseverance to become a set master. Practice daily with the free app, and I definitely will guarantee that you'll notice improvements in your times of how quickly you'll be able to identify sets. Now, I'll leave you with a uh, strategy that I will commonly use. If I cannot easily spot a set, uh, I will pick 
two cards that could potentially start off to being a set, and I'll think about what the third card would have to be with those first two cards to complete a set. And if that card's available, I found another set. Good luck out there.